guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be catching up firstly because I feel like I have been gone for a long time. So we are going to be catching up and also I am going to be sharing with you my current favourite products, my current must have products um, and my current products that I love that are TikTok viral right now. We are going to be getting into it all. I hope you guys enjoy this. I am literally so excited to be back and so excited to be creating content. So let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. So we are here. First things first, I have missed you guys so much. I have literally missed making content for you guys so much. It has just been the craziest year and a half and I actually don't know where time goes. Like it's craziness, but we are here, we're going to have a nice chilled catch up, I'm going to go through some of the products that I'm loving at the moment, some TikTok viral products, um, bits and bobs and we are just going to have a great time. Let's get into it. Now I was going to show you the eyeshadow palette that I just used and I've lost it somehow. Oh here we go. So. I just went in with the Huda Beauty Caramel Brown Obsession and I literally just used one shade from the Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar um, Obsessions Skincare. Let's get into it. First, I recently got the Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean Detox Face Mask. Now, I did upload a short on this video um, and I also uploaded it to my Instagram. If you haven't seen it, then go check it out. I am obsessed with this mask. I'm not going to use it just now, but I am so obsessed. This leaves my skin feeling the softest it has ever felt in my life. And it really just, it really clears my skin and it makes it feel like amazing. So this is a absolute must have. An absolute must have. We're gonna start and go in with the Fenty Skin Fat Water. Now this is the hydrating milky toner that came out recently and I am absolutely obsessed with this. Not only is it an amazing toner, it acts as the best primer because once applied it literally remains sticky and it is just a perfect, perfect primer for your base. I love this. Now, let's get into a little bit of a catch up while we get ready. The last year and a half have been crazy. Firstly, I was pregnant <laughs> and my baby is now nine months old. Well, about to be nine months old, with my baby boy. And I can't believe it. Like, I just don't understand where the time has gone and everything has just been so crazy and hectic but um, yeah me and my husband also moved into our first house about a year ago now so yeah everything has just been like craziness absolute craziness i've been trying so hard to get my room sorted finally we are getting there and i can't wait i'm gonna do a video as well showing you guys my room giving you a little tour all Currently, the progress of my room is on my TikTok and my Instagram. I will leave the links below, so be sure to check it out and you'll be able to see the progress of what my room looks like so far, but I will be showing you a full tour and I'll do like an organization video of makeup because that is still to happen. So yeah, lots of exciting things to come. I have just let that sit for a minute and it feels so sticky, like, literally so sticky the perfect perfect base i absolutely love it i am just going to talk a little bit about some products that i have used that i like but because i've just added that as like a primer i don't think i'm going to add another product however the nyx the marshmallow primer this is incredible not only does she just smell of pure like marshmallows like you know the smell of marshmallows oh my gosh she is amazing i love her another primer is the glowy makeup serum by i don't know how you say this is it Lan Lanish? Lan Lanish? Lanish? she 
she is just beautiful as well. Such a nice glowy primer. It also leaves your skin just super, like feels super hydrated. So I love that about her as well. And what I'm actually gonna go in with is a new product, which is, this is the Elf Halo Glow. And I have been loving, loving, loving this. Now, we all know about the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is literally a dupe. I don't know if you can hear my child screaming right now but he is having the time of his life. This is a must, absolute must. Considering the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter is it's like 36 pounds, so that's like 40, 45 dollars. Um, and this is only like, I wanna say it was like six pounds, maybe like 10 dollars. This is an incredible, incredible dupe. I love this, I'm obsessed. We're gonna put it on right now so that you guys can see it just, gives you such a beautiful glow. It is just absolute beauty in a bottle. I love it. I'm just going to blend her in. This is another one actually. This is dirty, I'm sorry. I've literally been filming videos almost all day so this is currently in a disgusting state. But this is the Coco Cosmetics Marshmallow Sponge. This is an absolute game changer. I don't know what it is, I don't know how she made this, I, I have no idea, but this, you need this. It blends, you're, you're gonna see in a minute once I put my foundation on, but it just blends everything into pure perfection. It just melts everything together so nicely into the skin. It is everything. I don't know why, but I feel like with other makeup sponges. A lot of makeup sponges that I've used in the past kind of take the product off your skin and then it's on the sponge and then you're like I need to add more product so it's kind of a waste whereas this it just it really just blends everything out so nice and even and it just creates such a flawless base. Just look look at that glow. Look at her. Pure beauty. My next Favourite at the moment is the NARS, oh she dirty, is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Now, if you don't have this, run, don't walk, go get it. It is a must. Not only is it a beautiful foundation, but it's also it also acts as a skincare product. It's a blend. It's a blend of makeup and skincare in a bottle. It is perfection. It blurs all your imperfections, it smooths the look of texture and not only that, it helps to conceal blemishes, dark spots, redness and not only that, it visibly improves skin's clarity after six weeks of daily use. I don't know about you but that sounds pretty good to me and you know what? It is good. I absolutely love this product so much. I'm just applying with my fingers because why not? And you're gonna see it all blend nicely together with our Coco Cosmetics sponge. Just look, look. Did you just see that? Did you just see that blend? Look at the glow as well, just look at that. Absolute perfection. I'm gonna go in with my next favorite, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer, and I cannot get this open, but she is just, again, you're gonna see, you're gonna see what this product does. She just gives such a nice sun kissed glow. She is just beautiful, so. Let me just show you guys. Again, I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers because I feel like this is just the easiest thing to do right now. That's a little bit off. It is just so nice and creamy as well. Like, it's just so easy to apply. It is so creamy. I absolutely love this. 
contour, bronzer, it's everything. Now, another thing I have been absolutely loving, of course, is the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush Setting Spray. However, I am getting pretty used to applying this between my makeup. So instead of just applying it at the end as a setting spray, I have been applying it like, for example, now, put my contour on, I will spray my face and then I'll blend it out, do my concealer, spray my face, blend it out. And I just feel like it gives such a nicer finish. So let me show you guys. Look how she just blends out, melts like butter. Absolute perfection. I love your eyes. Um, yeah. Can you just see the sun-kissed glow that that is giving? Now, sometimes I do just go back in with the Coco Cosmetics sponge just to seamlessly blend everything together. Now I kind of have three different favourite concealers at the moment so I'm going to use my favourite. I'm saying that now I'm like thinking which one is my favourite but I'm going to show you all three. So we have the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation sorry, Concealer. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this. We also have the Dior Backstage Concealer. Again, this is just incredible. I think this one might be my favourite. I feel like this is the one that you use on special occasions when you know you need to be concealed and you need it to stay right and tight all night, you know? That is this one. Last but not least is the Hira Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. Now, she is an absolute beauty. So this is the one that we are gonna use just now. I got two shades in this. I got Graham, is it Graham Cracker? No, Granola and is it Nougat? Is that how you say it? Nugget, Nougat, Nougat, I think it's Nougat. So those are the two shades that I got. So we're gonna go in with Granola like so. For the concealer, I am going to go in with the Hura Beauty sponge. I don't know why, I just, I like to use this to blend my concealer out. It's just, in fact, I completely forgot. Why did I forget? I kind of switch between the Hura Beauty sponge and also the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Marshmallow Sponge. Now, this is the mini version. Just look. It's perfect for like concealers, getting in the small areas under your nose, and the cra cracks, creases, like it's perfect for that. So actually, I'm gonna use this one instead. I just love, I just love this one. I just love, these sponges are just so soft, like just incredibly soft. I think that's the main thing that I love about these. And usually what I do is I go in with granola, like so. I just love how flawless that concealer looks and how it just blends out so seamlessly it just looks so airbrushed just I absolutely love this and then I go in with the lighter shade and I just literally put the tiniest amount like so this is literally just to brighten up a little bit The tiniest amount of the Huda Beauty Full Filter Concealer literally goes the longest way. It is just, it's so, so pigmented. It is so full coverage and I absolutely love it. And there we are. So at this stage, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some blush. We're gonna go in with the Made by Mitchell Blush. Now, I absolutely love this. It is just so beautiful. It's so pigmented. This is in the shade Very Berry. I'm just gonna get our Coho Cosmetics sponge again and just blend her out. 
this out a little bit more. I just love how pigmented this is, how it blends, it is just everything. So glowy as well. Now we're going to go in with the one and only Huda Beauty powder. However, last time I used this, I feel like I loved baking with this powder. This time, we are going to go in with our powder puff. Powder puff. We're going to dab about this much and then I'm just going to use my hand just to dab some of that off. And we are just going to press it into our eye like so and I'm just going to show you guys how much of a difference this makes and how flawless it leaves the under eye. Just look. Look at the difference. Just look at the difference. Now to do the other side. And this, it keeps your under eyes set all day without having the powder too cakey or too much and just like that and I'm now going to go in with a little bronzer this is the Glowish by Huda Beauty this is in the shade Deep Tan I love this product I use this like all the time to bronze up my cheeks it's got two tones it's got like a brown tone and it's also got like a nice pinky tone so it really just gives like a nice warm colour to your cheeks and I love it, yeah, it's just, just look. Now, I currently have two favourite mascaras. This will always be one of my favourites, the Maybelline Sky High. This beauty, I was kindly sent by one size, the fantasize mascara and she is just everything. She is just amazing. I'm actually going to combine the two today. I don't think I've done that before so let's see how it looks. This is just so lengthening, volumizing. It is just perfect. It's, it's the perfect brush to really get right under and it just lifts your lashes up so nicely. So I love this. Just look how it lifts and curls your lashes up. Just before that dries, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline just to Give it some more volume, length. Okay, I'm loving these two combined. Look at the lengthening. That was such a good idea to combine those two mascaras. Just look at the difference. I'm just gonna spray everything down. Now I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. She is such a beauty, just look. So subtle, but also just such a nice glow. I'm also just going to show you guys one of my favourite blushes at the moment, and this is the Benefit Blush in the shade Butterfly. This is like a beautiful orange, kind of burnt orange shade. It looks incredible. When I first saw this, I was like, okay, I'm not sure about orange blush. But as soon as I tried it, wow, it's just everything. It just gives such a nice sun kissed glow. I am obsessed. This is one of my favourites. The one thing I love about this as well is it has a slight shimmer in it. So it just gives that beautiful finished look. Pure perfection. Now, to finish off, I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Kind Words Lip Liner in the shade Wise. This is such a creamy lip liner. It is so pigmented, but it is, the formula is it almost feels so hydrating. It's not drying on the lips at all, and it is just so creamy. And to finish it off, we are going to go in with the Rare Beauty Lipstick, again in the shade Wise. Again, I just love the formula. It is so creamy, it feels so nice and hydrating on the lips. I am obsessed with it. So here we have the finishing look of my favourites, my must-haves, 
TikTok viral products that I am obsessed with and absolutely loving at the moment. Let me know what you guys thought of this look. Let me know if you guys have tried some of the products yourself and what products you like or even don't like. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It is so good to be back. I can't wait to make more content for you guys and I will see you in the next video.